The Saturn V rocket was assembled and launched in Florida, but it was built all over the country, which meant it had to get from those locations to Florida, and it was complicated. So let's start by looking at a map. The S-1C stage was built by Boeing at the Michoud facility in New Orleans, so Louisiana. The S-2 stage was built by North American Aviation in Downey, California. The S-4B stage was built by Douglas, also in California. Stages were tested in either Mississippi or Alabama, and of course the whole thing was run by Werner von Braun's team that was based in Huntsville, Alabama. So all the stages had to get either to Mississippi or Alabama and then to Florida. So the thing with rocket stages, they're not planes. You can't fly them from one location to the other to test them. The S1C stage didn't have very far to go, which was probably good because it was absolutely massive, but it was able to be transported on barges. It could go from Louisiana to Mississippi to Alabama to Florida on barges. The S2 stage was also really big and a lot further away. The only way NASA could get it from California to Mississippi was on a barge, and the only place for that barge to go was the Panama Canal. The S-4B stage could also travel on a barge with the S-2 stage or separately. The problem was this stage was used on both the Saturn 1B and the Saturn V rocket, so NASA needed more of them, more than they could wait to travel through the Panama Canal. So there was an ingenious solution. Take a regular airplane and make it huge. This is one of those Apollo details that I absolutely love because even though we talk about the missions mostly once that rocket's on the launch pad, getting it to the launch pad, just as interesting. 